Okay. We open our database, so we do select name from V database, and we have finance two. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a backup control file of the database to trace. So we're going to do alter database backup control file to trace as c colon slash trace sql reuse. Okay, so alter database backup control file to trace as to this file c colon slash trace dot sql and re overwrite it if it's all if it's already there. And basically, what this command is going to do is it's going to populate this file with the create control file statement that SQL plus needs to execute which will recreate the control files so we go ahead and we edit that file that we created with that backup command of course we get rid of all the comments and this is the line we're most concerned about create control file we don't want to say reuse because that means keep the database name the same. We want to change reuse to set. So again, we changed reuse to set database, and we want to rename it to finance three, and we want to say reset logs. Okay, so again, we change the control file of uh, reuse to set. Okay, get rid of this. move this up here and we delete everything remaining in the file okay oops and if we take a look at the contents of this file we will see that we have this create control file statement that has set database instead of reuse database in it okay so now let's connect to our database well, first things first, we need to delete our control files because we're going to create them. So we're going to go ahead and we're, we're going to, well, we need to shut down our database first. Sorry. Shut down immediate. Obviously, all these rename procedures that I'm showing you on YouTube need to be done during an outage window and also I want to take this time to remind you to back up your database prior to attempting these procedures okay um, now we can go ahead we see our control files here we can delete our control files gone let's go plus and we can go ahead and with the database down we can execute that trace file which should and of course the at sign here telling SQL plus to execute all the commands that are in that file okay so there's a few things you gotta keep in mind when doing this database name remember when we did it with NID okay it um, it was done outside of Oracle through the NID utility not in SQL plus and we made a bunch of changes but well, we didn't make those changes here so we have to do it so, it says create control file fail, database name finance3 does not match parameter. Okay, so we need to go back into our Oracle home on the server. C colon slash Oracle app product 1101db1. And then go in the database where our configuration files are. And we need to go ahead and we need to rename init finance2 or a to init finance 3 or and we need to edit in it finance 3 dot aura and this time we'll just manually edit these finance 3 3 so now the DB name will match the DB name parameter and we need to delete our password file finance 2 Aura, and we need to recreate it. PWD finance three dot aura password oracle one two three. Okay, so we have our finance three password file, and we have our P file finance three. Okay, so now, and uh, we 
need to create our um, service finance three. But let's go ahead and let's clean up our other service. So now, make sure we're totally shut down we should be able to do our trace.sql okay control file created so now we should be able to do alter database open reset logs Select name from the database. Finance 3. Select instance name, showing that it's a one to one relationship from instance. There it is. So, we just showed you how to rename your database using both the NID database utility and, uh, manual, and, using, and manually doing it using the create control file command. And with the create control file command, because we say set okay and our create control file set to the new name it's going to look how it's going to because it knows where all the data files are it's going to go to each data file and rewrite that name in all the headers because when you do create control file set you're basically telling SQL plus to tell the Oracle database um, not only am I recreating a control file but I actually want to create recreate to re change the database name so he'll know he'll look up all the data files which he has listed in himself and he'll go through and change that. That's also why it, it took longer to um, run that script that time because it was updating all the header files and the data files. Okay, that's how you change the name of an Oracle database and I hope you had fun.